Hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Fable, The Lost Chapters. Now about full Minecraft episodes, etc. I'm just waiting for my account to get sold before I buy a new one. And then I'll get back to those videos. But for now, I'm gonna play Fable. And basically, there's also a new version of this which came out recently. It's called Fable Anniversary. Basically the same game, but it's upgraded, updated graphics. However, it makes the game really darkish, full of shadows, and kind of shoots the game as a controller, like a like an Xbox controller, because that's where it originally came from. This game actually has mouse support, so it's like, you have to press like the arrow keys down and stuff before, and that was not going to work out. But this game can still run in 1080p, etc., so I will go with that. It was 2004, it can do 16.9 resolution, and everything like that. So without further ado, I'll start the game. Forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard and other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield Gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. Now, get moving and stay up. So a bit of dialogue glitches in that game, part apparently. So, um, here I am, a kid. The game progresses quickly to where you're an adult, and then pretty much begins with that. So I'm gonna do good deeds right now. Um, are you what are you up to today? Or you want to? So I'm gonna. Trade go goods. Yeah, I immediately ripped my decision. Um, let's go to audio and. And dialogue down bits. There you go. There you go. It's a buffed up resolution. Tall as it meant to be. For some reason, it went down to six. To a bad resolution. Get Maybe. your miscellaneous items here. So we're talking to this guy. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. Yeah. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face. Okay, for only three gold pieces. I can see no because I can't yet. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. So I've played before, so I'm basically going to go everywhere and get the coins as possible. Because I want to like at least finish childhood in this episode, so I can get to like the main game in this episode. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell no. my wife. I can't let her find out. What if your wife finds us? See, I'm trying to do good deeds, because the father will give you the gold coin each time you do a good deed. So I'll quickly do this. Honestly! There's some audio glitches, you see. Okay, 
And I'll say yes. You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. So that's one good deed. Now we'll go to the next good deed. Oh! I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. So here I am, so soon. My here. cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you come on, let's go and break stuff. That gets annoying, especially if something we do. You just gonna stand there like a lemon. I'm gonna stay here and do a good thing. So let's wait for Being out. good is so boring. Okay, times are out, so I'll just cut it out. It's back. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. So now we're at two or three good deeds. We'll just run. I can't remember. Oh, this, this way, I believe. There's a bully over here. You stupid little idiot. I... He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. So yeah, I've been going here. <gasps> Get him off me! <gasps> Please help! That British accent. He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. So some controls are kind of weird in this, but I use some. Let's turn on zero, which I sort of jump in Minecraft, since I use air keys. Have you cleaned my mum's- What are you doing? Get hit. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm him sorry, lot. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Ooh. Why would I want this teddy bear? Oh, I'll never just walk back to my dad's house over there. Uh, I left her and I can't remember where. Oh, so I see you. I'll just give Rosie away. Her stuffing needs changing today. She's a lovely little... Here's Rosie. <sighs> I need to do that since I already have three good deeds done. Oh, that's an accent? Okay. Well done, lad. Here's your award for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? And you see on the map, I mean, up up there. And go around, and the quest leads me to there. Which is basically a trader. Get your miscellaneous items here. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? So now we're gonna run over to the field. I think it's this way. That's where your sister is. Those are guards. I think bully you if you mean. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I was standing in this field when something happened. 
but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. She's like you. Oh no. What oh, screen moving? Oh no. It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Gotta take best hiding place ever. <laughs> no one will me there. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Is dead now, I suppose. That seems like he's dead. I don't see anybody, but I don't see what this command is. That's my dad. Oh boy. Must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. A stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Mays, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. student for you. 
put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Forced into training, I suppose. <laughs> It's time to wake up. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. Okay, so we need to get to that room. We'll believe it this way. This I'm lost. Is the deal shop. You're older, you can buy stuff here. I like this part of the deal. Oh, here we go, yeah. Yeah, she got on the main entrance back there. Oh, there's a good man. Let's see what you're capable of. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. All right. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. All right. So deletes, takes it out. I need some frame spikes. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs or you won't learn anything. Mm. Now pick it up. Just crash ah, there. Now but... that's more like it. Yeah. Well done, Dad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. I'm gonna upload this too frequently until I get something like a new computer because which should be relatively soon, but like my computer seems to crash a bit when doing this. Well the game itself with my computer. Let's go into the woods and deal with these bullies. I gotta stop saying that. Okay. On our mini map, on top right from see there's some enemies. Oh, I see the um, middle button on my mouse and did that. Oh, I can block with that, okay. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. 
Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. So I'm going to leave childhood right now. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. So apparently she's not grown at all these past, I don't know, four years. Okay. So you know we were like maybe 16 or something. That's I'd guess. You go one more time in the game, and then that's where it should. I'm dead now, aren't I? Ooh, guild master. Late again. You d You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Nine long sword, okay. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. <coughs> How did that get through? <coughs> She's blocking. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. No, no, that's what I'm Stop me every time. Well, if you just want to move, maybe. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got her training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> All right, children, let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Aim on her, okay. Oh, lucky shot. Oh, you fess up. Right button. The nice button. That time, you do a low break on tap. wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Yeah. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. Yeah, right. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance, Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Um, I'll take a Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Let's continue our training with the bow. Okay.
Next episode, I'll see if I can do anything that was dialogue, nothing heard. I'd be a ranger. Now, lock onto the target. See if that button's lock on them. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. Okay. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. All right. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. I'll take my aim off. Alright, can I the gun end again? No, I can't. I mean, I miss. I can. Man, she got it. Nah, not good enough. I'm doing terribly now. Shooting. I'm shooting now. Huh, okay, let's try that one more time. Oh, we're out of time now. No. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Okay, flight now. I got full control. Oh. Okay. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll okay. Hours deplete your mana. And one. What am I targeting on? That was awesome. Yeah. Very good, lad. You have learnt the free hero discipline. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. Just it's continuous again. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years the guild was his home, his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill.
The test will be revealed to you there. Guess I'm just gonna check how long the video is so far. If it's short enough, we'll go finish this. Okay, so it's 30 minutes long so far, approximately, but I think we just get this over with. Now, the thing is, like, I did have to, like, re completely redo everything just now. Like, starting when I got teleported. For some reason, I saved. I suppose back you're there. wondering how you passed the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me using all you've learned in your years of training. And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me if you can. Come on! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well done! I can get shoot him, okay. Put some anger into it. Spamming, okay. Ha! Well, excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. All right. pass but you have passed your final test and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master hooray I'm done now well this is the day lad I remember the first night you came to us and look at you now He's not aging Maze's at all. faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands, or strike fear into their hearts. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. First, you must select the area you wish to advance in. Okay, I see. Strength, skill, or will. No, sir. Ah, you've chosen Will. You could be a powerful magic user. You can use your experience from magic combat to learn new spells and improve those you already possess. Choose magic power increases your capacity for storing mana. Okay, I need that. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Okay, so I think that'll be it for today. Next episode will go into Check the real world. For more quests. So, um, yeah. Let's try to see if there's anything I can do about the entire dialogue glitch where I can't hear them. 
Until then, that'll be it. See you next time. Goodbye.